Are we ready? Yeah! Okay. And guess who we brought with him? That's who you guys want to see. You didn't care about the governor's baby dog, right? Okay, at this time, we'll get started. It's our pride and pleasure to welcome our 36th governor of the state of West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice. Let's give him a great seat. Everybody. 
They are important people, really important people. They're board members, school superintendents, school principals. There's all, maybe delegates. I, you know, there's all kinds of really important folks. But you're really important too. Really important. And I would tell you just this. If we'll all line up as West Virginia, I mean, when I went into office, I hate to say it, and this sounds like you're bragging, but you know, you don't ever, you're not ever bragging if you just tell the truth. You know, when I walked in the doors, our state was dead bankrupt. No way around. No way around. And all of a sudden, we started really making things happen. Boom, 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 boom. In all honesty, when I walked in the doors forever, forever and a day, for decades and decades and decades, West Virginia was in a battle with Mississippi on who was going to be dead last in the country and everything. Now, I didn't believe that. And I wouldn't turn it loose. You can do the exact same stuff. You see, I'm not sitting here too mouth. West Virginia now is the envy of the world. It is. Honestly, it's become the diamond in the rough that everybody missed other than everybody before was telling bad jokes about us and talking about how backward or poor or whatever it may be. Not anymore. Not anymore. Now we're in a special place. It's recognized by everybody in the world in tourism that wants to come here on and on and on and on and on. How'd we do it? We didn't do it with just Jim Justice. No way. We did it with a lot of people pulling the rope, you included. Now what I'm gonna tell you today is really straight stuff. There is an absolute epidemic that is crossing the land and you hear it all the time, but I want you to pay attention to it. Yeah, see there's no bigger kid anywhere than me. You may think you're a kid, but you can't rival me on being a kid. I mean, I have so much fun, it's off the chart fun. But this terrible thing that's with us, and it's not gonna go away, and that's the drugs. It touches every last one of you. Every single last one. Who would have thunk it? Did you hear that word, thunk? Who would have ever thunk it that we'd have a pandemic that would sweep across the world and nearly 7,000 West Virginians would now be dead? Who would have thunk that in America a million had died? You wouldn't have ever thought that, would you? You really wouldn't think that really just trying drugs one time, it's not going to hurt me bad or anything. It's going to be fun. And so many, every day, wake up and they're gone. They're gone. So there's a program. It's called Game Changers. There's lots of programs out there. Jobs and Hope, Music and Schools, lots of different things that we've done. And we're getting better. But we need to move the ball. You know, Joe Bozick is here today. He came to me and he said, will you be the head coach? Because all of you probably know I'm a coach. I've coached forever. I've coached more basketball games than anybody can imagine. I mean, I've probably coached 12 or 1,300 games. Now, with all that being said, how can you turn that down? How can you turn down to be a coach in trying to take on something that is cannibalizing us? And it is. There's sad story after sad story. Every last one of you has been touched by COVID. And I'll bet that almost every last one of you, in one way or another, another has been touched by drugs. Now do something. You may think, well, no way. Now, I ask you, I ask you, really and truly. There was a speaker at the other place we went over at Wheeling Park a little while ago. And he said, I don't mean to scare you. Well, I do. I do. You better be scared. And you better have the guts to stand up. Because if you just are somebody that goes along with the crowd, in my opinion, first and foremost, you've got a big time problem and you're probably not ever going to be nothing if you continue to do that. 
while I'm on that, let me just say just this. And how many of you know something about baseball? How many of you know something about softball? Surely, goodness, you know something about it, do you not? Think about this. Now I'm giving you wisdom. Wisdom. You'll hear me on the sidelines all the time screaming at my ball team to count three, two. But think about it. If you were in a softball game or in a baseball game and the team you were playing was batting and it was their last bats and you were one run ahead, I want to know how you'd feel because I want to challenge you to feel differently. I want to know how you would feel. All of a sudden you're standing out there on second base or right field. The count on the batter is 3-2. The bases are loaded. You're one run ahead. The pitch is on the way. Now, are you standing there pounding your blood? Lord, please don't let them hit me this ball. If you're doing that, in my mind, you're never going to be nothing. All of us mess the play up. All of us throw the ball away. All of us don't catch the ball. But you've got to want the ball. In your life, want the ball. Absolutely say, hit it to me, I'll make the play. Well, if you do that enough, you'll make a lot of plays. If you don't do that, you probably won't make hardly any. All I'm telling you is just this. With this drug situation, every last one of you can make choices. Are you gonna make the right choice? Now this isn't Pat's speech. They don't have anything. This is all right from my heart. Are you going to make the right choice? Are you going to say, you do what you want. I want the ball, but it isn't this ball. Are you going to do that? This Game Changers program can really help you. Is it the end all do all answer? No. Is communities and schools the end all do all answer? Is very, very successful? No. Is Governor Justice the end all do all answer? No way. Baby dog is the end all do all answer. And she loves a chicken nugget. And she's on the same diet that I'm on. But listen to me. The best thing we have in this great state is all of us together. All of us together. I mean it when I tell you I love you. I do. I really do. I mean it when I tell you over and over I've never wanted anything. Nothing. I don't want anything from being the governor. Nothing. I drive myself. I don't want anything. But absolutely, what I want is one thing. That's goodness for you. You know, at the end of the day, and I'll shut up. You are our kids. You're my responsibility. You're their responsibility. You're our future's responsibility. You really are. Let me tell you something that's super humbling. You get in the airplane and fly. And as far as you can see on a clear day, if you're the governor, you see all those houses and all those lights or whatever it may be, and you know every last one of those people count on me. Well now, we're all counting on you. That's all there's to it. Now you've got the ball. And I expect you to really do something with it. I expect you to stand up. I expect you to be great men and women and absolutely lead your life in a good way and be Jimmy. I mean, for God's sakes of living, I can tell you, and I am a Christian through and through and through, but I can tell you if God was standing right there and he said, Jimmy, I'm going to send you to you know where if you don't tell the gospel fact right now. Have you ever tried? Have you ever done anything? Marijuana, anything. Have you ever tried anything? Cigarettes, anything? Nothing. Nothing. No, Lord, I haven't. Now, but I can tell you this. 
You don't know a human being that's had more fun in life than me. That's all there is to it. All you got to do is just look around. All you got to do is just have a passion and a love to go get it. So much fun and everything out there. You don't need to buy your way into some fun that's temporary and it could absolutely cost you your, your life. So nevertheless, that's all baby dog and I've got. I congratulate this incredible school, your incredible folks that are back here, and you for being just that, being an incredible, incredible organization. You can't imagine what you contribute to all of us. You think, oh, I don't matter, bullfeathers. Bullfeathers. I could have said something bad to you. <laughs> but absolutely, you really matter. You think really and truly, it's one thing for me to come, but you think in all honesty that Baby Dog would drive all the way up here to see you if you didn't really matter. Because really, Baby Dog, she absolutely, she has her own program that she's on. Her program exists of sleeping about 14 or 15 hours a day and snacking a whole lot and uh, lots of other good things. Nevertheless, God bless each and every one of you. Make good choices. Really make me proud. You can do it. I know you can. That's all I got, Jeff. just knew the support he would have. I told people before, my wife's a speech pathologist right down the road here at Milan Park Elementary School, and way before we knew the governor, way before we were involved in Game Changers, she saw him on television, she looked around and she said, you know, it's, this gentleman's genuine, there's no doubt. And I hope all of you understand how genuine he really is. say this, the support the governor has given us probably may just be exceeded a little bit by his better half, the first lady. Uh, the community and schools initiative has set the bar for game changers to follow. She, first lady Kathy Justice was the first one to really bring to head the things we could do to help children in schools. And uh, she has uh, put a bar very high for us that we hope we're going to be able to follow and together we're going to do a lot of good here in West Virginia. And many years from now when you go back and think about this day, I think you're going to see just how much people here care about you and know that you have a lot of challenges but want to give you every tool that there is out there to meet those challenges. And I want to introduce to you now your principal, David Cottrell. First of all, uh, I would be remiss to, uh, if I didn't recognize Governor Justice, uh, we know what he's done for us down through the pandemic. Uh, there for a while when you guys weren't in school, but we were here on a daily basis. His, his press briefings and that kind of thing kept us up to date on what was going on. And he is truly a genuine West Virginian who, who really cares about this state. And the Game Changer Initiative as we've talked about, we're glad that he's taken on as the head coach. Uh, I'd also like to take an opportunity to thank Dr. Campbell, Mrs. Tallarico, Mr. Hinkins, and also Board President Walker for selecting Clay Battelle as the school in Monica County that is going to be the pilot program for Game Changer. Uh, I think we've got a lot of, of potential here with us being 6 through 12. and. We're, we're going to make this program go, and maybe we're going to make it go so well that we'll get the governor back with us again. Thank you, guys. A few words. 
Deputy Superintendent Don Talarico. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart that you're here and that you're going to allow us to participate in this program. Thank you very much, Governor. As we get ready to wind it down here, uh, you all are going to be very, very fortunate to have a curriculum that was designed by the world-renowned Hazelton Betty Ford Foundation, who is one of the utmost experts in prevention education. With us via Zoom in her offices in Massachusetts is our Director of Prevention for the Hazelton Betty Ford Foundation, Desiree Vasquez, to give you a short little talk about what you're going to expect with your curriculum coming up in the fall. Hi everyone, Governor Justice, Game Changer Team, Principal Patrell, school board and community members, and so many esteemed students here today. I'm very excited and honored to be here. Prevention is about investing in young people to promote and protect their health and well-being, and it's great to see West Virginia doing just that. All of us at the Hazelden Bay Ford Foundation are thrilled to be a part of this important effort. Prevention is a key part of our mission to keep healthy kids healthy and to grow them into people who lead healthy and happy lives free from addiction. 
Our prevention approach is an empowering one that honors the dignity and respect of young people like you by partnering with them as you learn information and skills that you will need to make your own healthiest choices about alcohol, opioids, and other substance use and non-use. As the Haven and Betty Ford Foundation, we bring a spirit of humility, empathy, grace, and love to the Game Changer program. It is in this spirit that all of the Hazelman Betty Ford Foundation prevention specials who will be walking alongside Game Changer coaches and students are not only highly trained prevention science professionals, but also people who happen to be in a healthy long-term recovery from substance use disorders themselves. We are truly with the people of the state of West Virginia as professionals who have come through addiction and who are committed to prevention from a deep place within our mission. The spirit of humility, empathy, grace, and love that we bring to our prevention work is what you students deserve, but it's also what influences you. Motivated students can in turn motivate their peers toward healthy choices. The prevention work of the Hazel and Betty Ford Foundation is in part so effective for students because it was innovated in conjunction with students like you who have for decades shared with us their desire to be healthy role models, peers, and younger kids. For prevention work to be effective, it must be led with what we know from prevention science with what communities know to be true for themselves. This is why the partnership between West Virginia Game Changer and the Hazel and Betty Ford Foundation has the potential to be incredibly successful at improving the trajectory of kids' health for decades to come. Thank you. Okay, before I go, you know, hold on just one second. Because baby dolls gotta get hurt, Rick. Hold on. Thank you so much for taking the time to go to the <laughs>